Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make some really good carts in uh, Mario Kart here. And um, the biggest thing that I've noticed about Mario Kart is that um, if you pick, I guess, any of these characters, all the carts' top speeds are the exact same. So what that means is, uh, for example, if I went, get my little... If you were to look at the speed here, you're like, oh man, car's slow as shit. But really, in real reality, uh, these cars are actually all the same. So that car would be the same as if Donkey Kong was going in it. This, the top speed would be the exact same. What speed means is let's say you have a mushroom or you go over a little boost thing on the ground. So the star circle things, um, that makes you go faster than everybody else through those. So if your top speed was fast as shit there, then you would get a bigger boost than everybody else when you're drifting, hitting jumps, doing mushrooms and stuff. And uh, for acceleration, it means you can get to your top speed faster. And since all the car's top speeds are the same, um, I'd say you should choose acceleration over speed. Um, weight, on the other hand, is... Uh, Donkey Kong and Bowser and all those people have a shit ton of weight. Alright, but what weight does basically is it just makes it so if you get hit, you don't fall off the map. So Toad, for example, uh, he's light as fuck. So if Bowser came along and hit him, you would uh, probably fall off the map. But, you know, gotta have some sacrifices. Keep your acceleration speed up. Um... For handling, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. The higher handling you have, the sharper turns you make, faster you can make those turns and all that shit. So I would avoid these pieces of shit at all costs because they are completely useless. Sure, your top speed and acceleration go up and your off-road goes up, but your weight goes up and your handling goes way down. And if you want to be able to get three stars in, let's say, the 150 or the mirror mode, you you cannot get it with those. I can guarantee you that. Um, as for off-road, if you're actually good at racing, you won't need off-road. Sure, there's some shortcuts that you could take uh, with off-road. I've seen on like the Wulu, some, I can't remember. But you go across dirt and stuff. But, you know, if you're trying to make the best car for most circumstances, and there's not... A shortcut over dirt in every track so so what I do for my car is I pick either Toad, Lakitu, Le or Shy Guy. I used to love playing as Yoshi but you know times change so what I do is I pick the soda jet the roller wheels so the really small ones and the paraglider so what this does is it makes you your acceleration super high and your handling super high. Um, some people will look at the speed and be like, oh, it's so slow, but all the top speeds of the cars are the exact same, as I said before. So by doing this, I would say that is the best car you can make, at least for me at this point. Um, sure, you can change it up a little bit, so you can sacrifice some handling for more acceleration if you want, or you can sacrifice speed for more handling. It's all up to your preference, really, and what you like to do. So, 